everyone! Today I found a huge vintage thrift store haul and so I wanted to share it with all of you guys. Um, you all know I am huge on thrifting. Um, I believe you can find a lot of really good amazing vintage items at your local Goodwill, Savers, all the thrift stores around and obviously pay really good prices and I have found some really amazing things and so I wanted to show you guys my latest haul and also just remind you that thrifting works so do it. <laughs> you just have to have a lot of patience and time because like what I do is I will like map it out. So I'll start at this Goodwill, then I'll go to this Goodwill and this Goodwill and kind of like go around the map in one day. Sometimes I'll hit say like five Goodwills in one day. So you definitely have to have a lot of time and effort and like to go treasure hunting, but that's why I like thrifting because not only is it good prices, but also I like treasure hunting. I like going in and not really knowing what I'm gonna find. Whereas other stores, you're kind of going in on a purpose where thrifting is like, I don't know, hopefully I find something. I might not, and then it's a waste of my time, but oh well, I tried. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna show you some of the cool things that I found. What do I wanna start with? I have so many amazing things. I'll start with this, cause you can kind of already see it in the corner. So I found this amazing original 1950s vase at Goodwill um, in perfect, Oh, I'm echoing. <laughs> my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, um, I really like the shape. It kind of looks like a shell with this, but then it also looks like a mermaid tail at the bottom. It's a really unique shape, also kind of like a fan shape. Um, and then you can see like the speckling. Anyway, it's in perfect condition, even out at the store. There's no chips, no cracks nothing and um how you can always know i'm just gonna like hoist it on my shoulder how you can always know if it's original vintage is the markings on the bottom are usually very unique you don't see markings like this nowadays so that's how you know they're also numbered at the bottom i can't tell on the camera where i am there you go <laughs> anyway so this is really cool Found it at Goodwill. It's huge. And yeah, score. So there's one thing. This is gonna be a while. I found a lot of things. And it's kind of just like all spread out around me. So you're gonna like lose my head a couple times. <laughs> also, I'm really, really, really excited to show you this. This piece I'm gonna be showing you is very, very hard to find. Hard to find even on antique stores like sites ebay etsy very hard to find and if you do find them they are usually quite expensive because they are hard to find so i'm going to show you i'm really excited about this because i found this at goodwill and i was like screaming screaming okay so you're probably expecting something like better i don't know but what's really hard about these the glass bottom is usually pretty easy to find. You see these kind of like all over the place, but what's really hard to find is the tops. And not only just the tops, but the tops in really good condition. Some of them can be dented, smushed, rusty, and this one's in perfect condition. It is original and it had the top and everything. This one I got for like five bucks crazy crazy so yeah i'm a huge believer on thrift shopping so there you go that's amazing um i also did find a second one of these but i think my husband used it the other night for a tiki drink so it's getting washed and yeah but anyway i found two of them so crazy that's awesome but these are really cool gives the different drinks a little imaging anyway so there's another one all right we keep going oh so this is a really cool piece also i found this like in the jewelry glass case at um sabers actually and um it's little cowboy hats 
and I thought it was really unique looking and I had absolutely no idea what it is. There's a pin on the back and I was like, okay, so it's obviously a pin. There's a pin on the back, but when you close it together, the pin's facing this way. So like, I was like, how do you pin it on yourself? And then, and then, it's a shoulder pin. I had never heard of a shoulder pin before, which is kind of surprising because I do a lot of vintage research and I had never heard of a shoulder pin before. So yeah, so you pin it on your shoulder like that. Obviously you're wearing a shirt, so you're not pinning it in your skin. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then it like drapes over like so. Isn't that cute? Little cowboy hats going down, yeehaw. That's really cute. So yeah, I found that at Savers. Good price too. Amazing. Really cool piece. It's um, marked on the bottom. Ultra Craft is the brand or the marking, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there's that really unique item. I also found this really cute little paint by numbers piece from the 50s. I have a um, ballerina themed bedroom, so I thought it'd go well in there. I already have a couple paint by numbers pieces in the bedroom, so usually there would be two, a matching one, but there's only one at the thrift store, but you know, three bucks. It's still cute, why not? Look at that. <laughs> Look at those feet. <laughs> I like, I do ballet, so when I see ballet feet, I'm kind of particular on how it looks. Anyway, and then I found these gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. And look at the logo, so vintage. Look at how cute that is. Also pay no attention to my nail polish. <laughs> look at that logo and look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful, that beautiful gold color and this detailing here, so cute. And these, believe it or not, were 99 cents at Goodwill. I think because they saw them, they're like, all oh, these are old shoes. They're probably gonna disintegrate pretty soon, which they might, but I'm still gonna wear them. And yeah, so for 99 cents, come on, come on. That's like, oh, I can't. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so then this piece is a really interesting piece. So this is a location in Georgia. And I saw the sticker and I knew that that was a vintage sticker. And then also look at the bottom with the stickers. That's also super vintage stickers too. So I was really intrigued by this piece because I'm like, it's a location in Georgia and like short beer, like this is a huge mug. So I was kind of like looking it up and from what I'm thinking it is, is that, you know, when you are tourists and you go to the gift shops, this was part of like gift shops back in like the 50s, 60s because they, if you look online, this brand made a lot of these mugs, but like instead of it being a location of Georgia, they have different locations. Like there was a Texas one and you know, different locations, So, I'm, but they all look the same. So I'm thinking, correct me if I'm wrong if you know, but I'm thinking that this was part of like different states gift shops. And it was this company, because it's always this company sticker on them. So I'm thinking it's this company and they made these, but they made them for different states tourist gift shops is what I'm thinking. So anyway, interesting, interesting. So I don't drink beer, let alone this much beer, but it's a cool item. It was cheap, Goodwill, no savers. This one was from Savers. But you know, same difference. I'm just gonna yell down here as I pick up stuff. All right, so this is a really cool item that I found. It's a photo album, I'll try and show you. And it is genuine leather 
obviously um, hand carved. Look at that detail. That's just crazy to me. All that detail to hand carve all of this in leather. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so there is an artist name on the back and it's marked made in Australia. So that's kind of cool. So I'm not quite sure what era this is. If you guys know what era this is, let me know. But really cool. Um, I'll try and do this. So photo album, so the paper, and then there's this um, sheet lining in it, which is cool. You can't really see on the camera, but the detailing of the sheet is spider webs and spiders, which I think is really cool. Doesn't make any sense with this image, I don't think, but really cool um, and really good shape. I mean, it doesn't really look like it was ever used. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but it's a cool item to have. This one I found at Goodwill for like three bucks. So why not? Anyway, we're still going. Oh my gosh, all this talking. Okay, so there's this really cool item, pen holder. Look at those sparkles. Oh, so mid-century with those sparkles and then random rocks placed into it. I have no idea what kind of rocks these are, but yeah. So a cute little pen holder, kind of in like a boomerang 50s shape. Found that at Goodwill. I think it was like three bucks. So that's cool. I love the sparkles. That's so, so 50s with the sparkles and like the boomerang type shape so there's that and we're still going all right so then this is a really cool piece that i also found at savers i found this piece at so this one needs a little bit of help um these holes right here they're supposed to be screws so it screws in here and it screws in here and what this is so this would be attached like that and then you slide it up and it's a cigarette holder. So this is from the 1960s. Um, brass, it is brass. And so this is my husband's little project. He doesn't know that yet, but it's gonna be my husband's little project to try and figure out how to get this to attach back onto this, which I don't think it should be that complicated. I mean, I don't really know because I'm not the one that's gonna be doing it, but I'll tell him I don't think it's too complicated and then when he gets started and then he has to finish it, he'll realize midway that it's complicated, but he'll have to finish it so then it won't matter at that, at that point. That's the way to do it. Anyway, so yeah, I thought that was cool from the 60s. I don't smoke, but you know, put some like candy cigarettes in there, that'd be cute, cute aesthetic. When people come over and they'll be like, oh, there's cigarettes, but it doesn't smell like smoke in here trick people anyway so then i found this cool piece pink and gold very 50s colors that's really cool so um the back is stamped uh california parter pottery california pottery what is that california pottery can't speak anymore i've been speaking for like 14 minutes and i can't speak anymore California Pottery, which is a very popular pottery brand that was back in the 50s. So if you see it marked California Original, California Pottery, it's a good item to have. Snatch it up. Um, this one was six bucks. So that's really cool. So and then also here's my thrifting words of advice. You know how I said at the beginning of the video that what I do is that I'll like map it out and I'll go to this Goodwill, like in one day, I'll go to this Goodwill and then I'll look on the map and I'll go to this Goodwill and then I'll go to this Goodwill and then I'll kind of do like the dots around till I get back home. So what I've noticed a lot, which I don't understand how this happens, but it happens and this has happened a lot to me, but that you'll find a piece there, a vintage piece, I like the one Goodwill, and then you travel to the next Goodwill, kind of like around it, and sometimes, many times with me, but sometimes you will find the, the matching set to this piece that you found at this Goodwill, but the matching set to that piece will be at this Goodwill. 
I don't understand how those things get separated because obviously they were given to one goodwill as a drop off. So I don't know how one goodwill will get it, but then the pieces will sometimes get separated and dispersed around, but it does happen. So what's happened to me a lot is that I will find the matching piece to this piece that I do understand the analogy as I'm doing this all over the place. Anyway, so let me show you. So that pink and gold leaf platter that I just showed you. So I found this at a different Goodwill that was literally really, really close, really nearby. And this is also California pottery and it's part of the matching set that goes to that one. And I found it in the same day. So it's not like I found it years later and it, you know, I think it like probably was given together because it's part of the matching set and then somehow it got separated. But anyway, so that's really cool. It's another platter, California pottery because it's matching and yeah. So that's really pretty. It's the same colors, that pink and gold, and it's the leaves, so it matches. So I would say, words of advice, if you're going thrifting one day, you're like, today I'm going thrifting, hit up a bunch of them around the map that are kind of like, you know, like this on the map, because sometimes you will find matching pieces that will go together. Like I said, I don't know how that happens, but somehow it does, and you don't ask questions, you just do. Okay, we're almost there, people, we're almost there. All right, so then I found this platter too. It says, pizza, have you had a piece lately? I don't know, have I had a piece lately? That's a good question, that kind of sounds good actually. Anyway, here's this platter, obviously looks retro. Keep your eye out for like, I don't know. They just have a certain look to them. It's like the the pink colors and like the way things were painted. You can just tell if it's from like the 50s or 60s era. You can just tell. And so I've just kind of like learned how to have a certain eye to know like when I'm thrifting to be like, I see that I know what era it's from without checking. But sometimes, you know, it's nice to check. So the back of it is marked 1963. And this is um, marked Marcia. So that was another pottery um, brand. So yeah, 1963, found that at Goodwill. I think I already took off the price sticker, but I think I got this one for like six bucks too. So really cool. I'm gonna display that in my kitchen as I like almost break it, setting it down. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm like, look at my nice platter crash. Okay, this is my last piece, I think, that I'm gonna show you in this video. So here we go. Also found these at Goodwill. These are pretty cool. Let me get the other one. So these did have the matching set to them, which is really cool, because a lot of times these will get separated. So it's really cool when you do find the man and the woman. Um, for some reason in the 50s, it was, that's what they did with wall art, lamps, figurines. They didn't just make a man and didn't just make a woman. I mean, they did sometimes, but like most of the time, majority, it was, there was a man figurine and there's a woman figurine. And a lot of times they get separated, obviously throughout all the years. So when you do find wall art or lamps that do have the both of them, is like, bingo, bingo, you scored because like I said, they do get separated. So these are marked Imperial Masterpiece Japan. I don't know much about that company, but obviously the sticker is um, super vintage looking. You can also tell if a piece is original vintage just by the stickers because they don't really make stickers that look like that anymore. So yeah. So anyways, so these are really cool to have. They're like 3D. Need to clean them up. Anyway, so that was a lot of talking. I'm not used to talking that long. Anyway, but that is all that I have found in this latest thrift shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my pieces. I'm exhausted from talking, 
but um there you go so i hope you guys learned something from me because all this talking i did and if you didn't learn anything then that was just pointless but that's okay anyway <laughs> so i will re remind you though oh, no i forget okay on the map go to your goodwills around because you might find the matching pieces also thrift shopping is good because you'll find lots of original vintage stuff that's really cool vintage stuff too it's in great condition for a really cheap price i think that's all but yeah so i hope you just enjoyed seeing all my pieces i'm gonna enjoy them i'm gonna display them in my house and yeah so have a good rest of your day and i will see you all later